cracking everybody, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today's topic I want to talk to you guys about common mistakes made at the gym part 2 now this is just my disclosure right here the stuff I'm spitting out to you guys is just advice and hopefully it can work out for you but if it doesn't don't use it alright um, this advice only goes out to the beginners and pretty much to the novice guys pretty much the guys been at the gym for one year but still hasn't seen really good gains okay now um, the first topic I want to iterate on is um, taking breaks at the gym. Now I understand that we need to take breaks after sets and after each exercises. All right, after each set should be between one minute and thirty seconds up to two minutes, and per exercise two minutes, two, yeah, about two to uh, two and a half minutes. Reason why I want to say it like this is because um, if you're not giving yourself enough break which is, you know, a minute and 30 seconds up to two minutes, you might be rushing it and your next workout might not be effective, not as intense. Now, the, if, you're, if you're past that two-minute mark, your heart rate might actually be starting to rest and then also your, your workout might not be as intense as well. So you got to make sure you're, you fall in that window. A good tip is to have a watch with you, a wristwatch. If not, if you don't have a wristwatch because you're on the budget, you can always look at the clock on the wall and just count the seconds. All right. Once your seconds are up, start working out again. Don't get caught up watching TV because sometimes the stuff that on TV is gonna just slow you down on your workout. All right. So don't take too, don't be too relaxed uh, when when you're taking a break. Uh, what a good another good tip is you can just jump off the bench or or your machine, whatever you're doing. Walk to the water fountain, take a couple of few sip of water, stretch out a little bit, and then come back in and for your next uh, exercise. All right, that's that's a good tip that I usually do, and not only that, it helps me cool off a little bit. Now, um, the second um, topic I want to talk to you guys about is um, going into the sauna. Now, if you go into the sauna, just let you guys know that you're not going to be losing any fat. What you're going to be doing is losing water. When you go to the sauna, you're going to be sweating, right? And when you sweat, it's water. You're losing water. And uh, muscles, what helps muscle grow is water. Now, if you're trying to dehydrate yourself, trying to lose muscle, go ahead. That's the best place to do it. But if you really want to go into sauna, I say go into sauna for no more than five minutes top. All right. If you want to open up your pores, all that good shit, go into the sauna for five minutes top. But do not stay up in there any longer than that or you're going to be dehydrating you're going to be losing muscle, all sorts of good shit, okay? That's why you only see fat people go up in that bitch. Because they want to stay fat and lose muscle. Now, um, a lot of there's a controversy about drinking water. How much water you should be drinking? A lot of people say you should be drinking about 4 liters, you know, 1 gallon. All sorts of shit, right? But for me, I don't really drink that much water. I drink enough water where I'm pissing at least... But I'm at the most three or four times, depending on the activity I'm doing. If I'm out in the sun all day, fucking training, you know, jumping over fucking berms, hiding in holes, fucking, you know, three to five second rushes. Yeah, I understand. I need a lot of water. All right. But if you're just going to be an average guy working at the fucking, you know, at an auto shop behind a computer or at the cashier, you don't need that much water. Okay. As a matter of fact, when you're going to the gym, you don't even need that much water either. You just need enough water where your piss is literally light yellow. That's where the golden mark is at, light yellow piss. If it's clear, then you're dehydrating. If, you're, if it's too dark, then you need some more water because you're dehydrating. It's weird. I know. You know, a lot of people, you hear a lot of people say if you drink too much water, you'll piss out all your minerals and all your proteins, all that shit out. It's true. You're pissing out all the sodium. The sodium helps also um, retain water as well. That's why you feel bloated. But like I said, water is good for you to build muscle. And the sodium that you take, you shouldn't be drinking Coke because you're getting enough sodium from the food that you eat anyways. So those are just the common mistakes made at the gym. You don't need to overindulge yourself in water. You don't need to be going to the sauna. And don't be take and don't be watching your favorite show at the gym, all right. Distract yourself a little bit, you know, just cool off. But you know, just just do what what these three things I'm talking about, and hopefully it helps you build some muscle. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. 
and I'll talk to you guys later.